My name's Robin, and I'm a test engineer at Redgate Software. I've been involved in the development of SQL Backup version 6, and I'm going to show you how you can back up a Microsoft SQL Server database in just five simple steps. In this demo of SQL Backup Pro, we will backup, compress, and encrypt a database. When opening up the user interface, we see the SQL servers and database we have registered in the left-hand pane. We have specified a location and a GMT time zone for our SQL servers. By clicking separately on the databases, we can view past backup and restore activity for each database. We start the backup process by clicking on the backup wizard. In the first step of the backup process, we select the server from which we wish to backup the database. By default, this will be the server we have selected in the main window. We can also choose to use settings from a template that we can customize and configure. Next, we choose the type of backup we want to create and select the database we want to backup. If full backups have previously been made, we can decide to create a differential or transaction log backup. In this demo, we will create a full database backup. In step 3, we decide whether to backup to a single file, mirror to a second location, or split the backup over multiple smaller files. Splitting the backup across multiple files can reduce the time needed to create it. Here, we can also specify the file name of the backup, or have it named automatically. If we need to purge older backups as part of the process, we can choose to override existing files, or delete existing backup files by age or quantity. If you want to copy the backup to a network location, we can also configure in the step to which folder the backup should go and whether to purge existing network copies. Next, we can select one of four compression levels for our backup. With SQL Backup's high performance compression levels, you can optimize your backups for speed or size. If you are unsure which compression level to use, the compression analyzer helps us by sampling data to suggest the best compression level for the size of our database. In step 4, you can also secure your backup using up to 256-bit AES encryption. Once we have selected our backup processing options, we can optimize the performance of our backup by selecting and determining the number of threads to be used for the backup process. SQL Backup version 6 enables us to select a maximum transfer size and data block size for memory and disk optimization. For this demo, we will use the default settings. In this step, we can also take advantage of one of the new features of SQL Backup Pro version 6, Network Resilience. Network outages are a common problem when transferring data. They can interrupt backup operations and cause job failure. SQL Backup Pro version 6 is designed to minimize the disruption caused by network outages by automatically continuing transfer jobs once connection is re-established. By default, SQL Backup is set to retry connecting to the network after 30 seconds and up to 10 times. These settings are appropriate for short network outages, but you can adjust the settings to suit the need of your environment. On completion, we can choose to verify our backup and can also choose to be notified by email if an error occurs. You can modify the email settings and choose to receive warnings or be informed about any outcome. Before we confirm our backup settings, we can review a summary or change tab to view the SQL script for which the command line utility or stored procedure will use. We can now run our backup. The status window shows us that the backup has been created successfully. The activity history and timeline have been updated and, if you have chosen it, email notification of the backup has now arrived. Being able to see the activity of past backups and restores in the timeline is useful for planning and checking when next to run backups on the server. And that's it. If you'd like to see how your backup routines can be strengthened with SQL Backup Pro, please try our free, fully functional and supported 14-day evaluation of SQL Backup Pro. If you have any additional questions, please contact our dedicated sales and support teams here at Redgate. Thank you for watching this demo.